doing here? George! Look, if you came here to talk me out of the fight, and forget it. No, George, I'm I mean, not. I don't care what you say, Wheezy. What did you say? <laughs> I said I'm not going to try to talk you out of fighting. Why not? <laughs> well, like you said last night, George, a man without pride is a nobody. <laughs> On the other hand, a man without teeth is an ugly nobody. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Maybe there's a better way than winning a fight to show Marcus how to be a man. Oh, what do you mean? Well, this is what I'll do. For Marcus' sake, understand? I'm gonna throw the fight. That way I can show Marcus, even if you lose, you can still be a man. Throw the fight? Yeah, Weezy. I won't even throw a punch at the guy. And after he throws his first punch at me, I just hit the floor. <laughs> George, you could hit him once. Easy, I could hit him a thousand times if I wanted to. But I got to do this for Marcus. But George, fight is to the center of the ring. Don't worry, we everything will be fine. Okay, men, this is a 10 round fight. Now keep it clean. No hitting below the belt. When I say break, you break. And the most important rule of all, please, don't nobody hit the referee? <laughs> May the best man win. That be you, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> well, this is it. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. I'm too tired to spit. <laughs> How am I doing so far? <coughs> Is it just me, Mr. Jefferson, or do you know something strange about this fight, too? Yeah. I was looking for a bigger crowd. <laughs> no, I mean, nobody's throwing a punch. Yeah, I was thinking about that. It's a heck of a defensive battle, ain't it? 